I bet you wonder why I'm looking up. Well, let me just say sometimes I like to do that. I'll be at the parking lot at Walmart or whatever, and I'll be coming across, and suddenly I'll stop and look up. And you'll be amazed at how many people stop and look up with you. <laughs> and uh, what are you looking at? You don't see it? Well, I say that because uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, a story in the book of Acts. The Bible tells us, of course, Jesus has been crucified and resurrected. And he's been meeting with his disciples. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that he's been seen by as many as 500 people. When in Acts chapter 1 comes, it comes, it's time for Jesus to ascend to heaven. And before he does, he gives this parting command to his disciples. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he says, And you shall receive your power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and Judea and to the uttermost parts of the earth. And right after that, the Bible says that Jesus was received up into heaven in the cloud and went out of their sight. Well, that scripture is followed by the Bible talking about the disciples staring, looking, gazing, uh, steadfastly looking, uh, one scripture, uh, one translation even says, straining to see him. So they're looking pretty intently. And, I mean, no wonder, really. I mean, this is, be this is before uh, Star Trek, you know, beam me up, Scotty. It's before power packs, jet packs that you, we see sometimes now. It's before any of those things. So, I, to me, I don't find it really amazing that they're standing there looking up. I'd be doing the same thing. I mean, it'd be remarkable today, but imagine back then. And these two angels show up, the scripture says, and they said, You men of Galilee, why stand you here gazing? Well, I don't know about you, but that seems kind of like a, a silly question in a way, right? I mean, why not be standing here gazing? And they go on to say, This same Jesus, which you've seen received up into heaven in a cloud, so in like manner shall come back. And so their question was not, why are you looking up into the heavens? I mean, that's kind of understandable. I think the point they were driving at is that Jesus has just given you a commission. He's just told you that there's things that you need to be doing. Why are you standing here? Get to work. You need to go and serve God, and you need to go and be a witness for others. And in light of that day when he's coming back, uh, we hear a lot of talk these days about the coming of Jesus being near and the signs of the times and those kinds of things. And I believe Jesus is coming back and I hope it's soon. Uh, but the point is, until he comes, we don't need to be caught up looking up and speculating about when Jesus is coming back. We need to be about our Father's business. We need to be serving in our churches. We need to be helping our communities, reaching out, being the hands of Jesus and the feet of Jesus. And we need to share our faith with other people. Time is getting shorter, there's no doubt. And the coming of Jesus is closer, obviously, than it's ever been before. What are we doing looking around? What do we do standing around and wasting time doing things that are not accomplishing anything? Jesus is coming back and we had be best be ready and we need to be doing everything that we can to ensure those around us that we love are ready. I stand you here gazing. Go do what Jesus has called us to do. Be about his business. So let's get to the task that we've been given. But I will add this. Every once in a while, Still stop in a parking lot somewhere and look up and just stare. And when somebody says, what are you looking at? You say, well, not looking at, looking for. I'm looking for Jesus. Are you ready? Just thinking out loud. Blessings. Get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name.